dorat Păr trimi kam gësi amora E thot zemra e shkrun dorat Păr trimi kam gësi amora Musliman, ai zog și bătari, bața ion adamiașari. Musliman, ai zog și bătari, bața ion adamiașari. Shka kërsete, filloj luftën me një shtete Në si firë pu, shka kërsete, filloj luftën me një shtete Ashtu baba e kishte dukue, jam me vdek, jam me fitue Ashtu baba e kishte dukue, jam me vdek, jam me fitue My parents' apartment. They have no idea that I'm here. At night, we arrived in uh, Pristina, and overnight we stayed in Pristina. And then in the morning, we just came came here to Shkup with the bus. The guys went to Gostivar. That's where they are from. I am here now. They have no idea. My parents have no idea that I'm here. I never. I, I haven't told them. And I'm just gonna ring the bell and surprise them. It's been over four months since I haven't seen my parents, my mom and my dad. So I'm excited right now. Let's see. It's like, it's 8.30 in the morning. But they wake up early, so they're up. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday, I forgot my charger, my DSLR charger in Pristina in Kosovo. I put it to charge there and uh, we took the bus to Skopje and I just forgot to, to take it with me. But the bus driver or the friend of the bus driver was kind enough to call a friend of his at the bus station in Pristina while we were on the road to Skopje. And he, uh, he took it and he's gonna bring it to me today here in Skopje. The bus station. So I had luck. So I can film and keep on filming and showing you all the stuff that we're seeing here. As you can see, <clears throat> the camera quality just went way up. I got my charger back, got my battery back, I got the DSLR back. And since we have the quality back, let me show you a little bit more of my hometown, Shkupi town.
Let's check out my uncle. He's in that store right there. Bon Drishim, Closed. Let me show you something ridiculous. Look at the statues. Statues, 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 statues. Three weeks later. Statues. 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 This city has more statues than people. <laughs> Ridiculous politics, man. Look at this. You know, in Islam we hate statues. Because it's something that people used to worship in the past. That's how shirk happened. It all started with a couple of pious people in one village. Everybody loved them because they were pious, they were nice people, they were nice to everybody and they, will, they were making a change in society. And this was way before Nuh When these people died, then shaitan came to the people of the village and said to them, you know, these people were so nice people don't you want to make something in order to remember them? So how about you draw a picture of them and this is how you're going to remember them. And that's what they did. And after a while, these generations died. You know, Shaitan Iblis has a lot of time on his hands until the Day of Judgment. And when the later generations came, he came again in a form of a human being. And he said to the later generations, he said, you know, these people, don't you know why your forefathers made pictures of them? Because they were amazing people, they were very pious people, they were great people. So you should make a statue out of them. And so they made statues. After they made statues, he waited again. These generations, they passed as well. And later generations came. Iblis came again in the form of a human being, talked to them and he said, you know, don't you know where your fathers made statues? Don't you know who these statues are? These were the most pious people of your country, of your village. You should, in order to respect them, out of respect, you should bow down. Each time you see them, just bow down. It, it's not a worship, it's just respect, out of respect. And that's what they started to do. And after these generations passed, he came again to later generations. Remember, he has time. But this time, he said to them, you know what? Why do you think your forefathers bowed down in front of them? You know why? They worship them. You should worship them too. You should have, you should ask favors of them. And this is how shirk started. And that's why we hate statues. And ironically, in my opinion, you won't find Albanian Muslims that are more practicing anywhere else than here in Shkop. And at the same time, the Slavic-speaking people, the Macedonians, they bombarded this city with statues. And we hate statues. We don't like statues. So it's irony, you know? On the one side, on the Slavic-speaking side, it's full of statues. On the other side, it's full of mosques and masjids. And yeah, now you know how shirk came about associating partnership with the one and only creator. This is the foundation of our religion and the foundation of all the major religions before they were being corrupted by the polytheistic Greek Roman traditions. So yeah, man, there's only two religions. Don't let yourself be fooled. It's either monotheism or polytheism. And if you want to be a true monotheist, that's where you find Islam, being a Muslim, submitting to the creator of the heavens and the earth.
that's what Islam is about. But people make you think that it's a violent and a bad thing. Because if there's a cure in the world, remember this, the ones who earn a lot of money from the diseases of the world, they don't want you, they don't want you to get there. You know, all these, all these shitty brands, they don't want you to become a Muslim and drink water instead of a Heineken and be a good man and clean your soul and your body. They don't want that. There's no money in that, you know? So that's why we have this image. It's all marketing in the end. That's why they're paying a lot of money to make our religion bad. But take the book, open it, and read for yourself, and you will find the truth.